Good morning, I'm Rod Schaub. I work for Frontier Extension District and I'm housed in the Linden office. Today, I'd like to speak about vesicular stomatitis virus, other known as VS. So what's happened so far this year? Well, you know, VS is not a new disease or it's not a new virus. It's something that we've had uh, for, for many, many years. It's been predominantly found in the Western states the last several years. Uh, in 2019, Kansas had the first case it's had in over 30 years. And that case was found in Western Kansas and currently uh, we don't have any cases out, out in Western Kansas. Uh, but in 2020, we do have a lot of cases that started in South Central part of the, our state and is now moving into East Central Kansas. The first case was identified in Butler County on June the 16th, and currently there are 23 counties and over 170 premises in Kansas that have been identified with the virus and have been under quarantine. Um, so, so what is uh, VS? It, it's a viral disease that causes foot and mouth like symptoms in livestock, okay? Uh, it affects horses, which foot and mouth disease would not affect, but uh, because it has such similar symptoms, uh, it is a reportable disease in Kansas, and so if you see that you have issues uh, with it, you need to call your local veterinarian. Uh, VS affects primarily horses, uh, but it can also affect cattle, hogs, sheep, goats, alpacas, llamas, and it can also affect people um, that are caring for the infected livestock. Uh, some of the clinical signs that you might look for, the first thing you'd probably see is drooling. Uh, there'd be a reluctance to eat or drink. Uh, there'd also be lameness and, and probably uh, reduced milk production. But rarely does VS cause death of the livestock. Um, what might you be looking for if uh, you're looking for symptoms of VS? Well, first of all, from the incubation time period, it's usually two to eight days, and there's very little virus that shed during this time. The virus doesn't sh shed until those blisters break, and the viral shedding then can last, you know, up to 10 days. Um, like we said earlier, the first sign that you'd see is probably drooling, but it, you know, this excessive salvation would be due to the fact that uh, there's blisters that are forming. Uh, we oftentimes don't see the blisters. By the time we see the, um, the livestock, those blisters have already been broken. And so we have a lesion. And these lesions uh, will appear on the lips, the tongue, and the roof of the mouth. You might also find them on the nostrils, the ears, the teats, uh, vulva and and perhaps a coronary band that's just above the hoof. Once these blisters break, that infected area is becomes very painful, and this often leads to animals not eating or not drinking. They may not walk they, very well because they're lame. That you know they don't want to put. Uh, weight on them on their on those joints and move them and oftentimes what that happens then is we get severe weight loss on these animals uh, we don't know a lot about how VS is spread uh, we do know that uh, the most common method however is is through biting insects we have sand flies black flies and midges all of these can transmit the disease and there may be other insects as well we just are not aware of those at this time uh, it can also be spread animal to animal uh, by contact uh, whether they come in contact with the saliva or uh, the fluid from the from the ruptured lesions so what can we do to control vs um, really what we need to do is good sanitation we need to put those animals in quarantine and we need to do a really good job with fly control. If we can do a good job with all of those, usually we can contain the infection. In addition to all that though, you know, use some good biosecurity items uh, around your farm. Uh, don't share feeder or water buckets. Uh, don't share bits and don't, in general, just don't share tack among horses during this time. 
If uh, you suspect uh, VS, probably the first thing you should do is call your local veterinarian. Um, they will come out, they will take a look, they'll get the state involved, of course, but there's really no specific treatment for vesicular uh, stomatitis. Um, the vet, he may treat some secondary issues that are associated uh, with the lesions. Uh, you know, he may give an antibiotic, he may give an anti-inflammatory, um, but those would be about the size of what they can do. Um, so if you sus suspect it, call your local veterinarian, um, or you can call the state veterinarians. And for Osage and Franklin County, call Dr. Paul Grossdeter at 785-633-3638. For Anderson County, uh, call Dr. Cody Garten, 785-207-5414. If you want more information or have questions, more questions about VS, give me a call at the Extension Office. My phone number is 785-828-4438. Thanks.